Welcome to the Applications Platform training videos from Codeless Platforms. Here are the objectives and approximate running time for this video. In the previous video, we added LDF functionality to the customer object, updated customer LDF data, and tested LDF access. We will continue our training by adding portal login fields to the customer records page and updating customer portal credentials. OK, we will begin by giving portal visitors access to customer data by checking attributes on the customer object. Let's select the customers tab and in the drop down menu select object definition. In the object attributes section, ensure that the portal user option is selected. If it is not, then the option can be found by clicking the edit button, which we will now demonstrate. Scroll down to the object advanced attributes section and ensure that the portal user option is selected. And then click the save button. We will now create a Portal Visitor Login Details section. Return to the Classic Guitars main page. Ensure you are on the Customers tab. Click on a Customer Record. And then select the Edit button. We will now add the Portal Login fields to the Customer Record Edit page. Click the Page Options button and select Design this page. Scroll to the bottom of the page. From the Create section, select a new section component and then drag and drop it onto the page above the Last System section. Select the newly added section and click the Properties drop down button. Change the section name to Portal Credentials and click on the page to apply this. From the Available Component section, select Login Name and drag and drop the component in the Portal Credentials section. Again, from the Available Component section, select Password and drag and drop this below the Login Name. Now click the Save and Synchronize button. The Save and Synchronize button applies the changes you have made to other pages related to this object. Select the new customer checkbox to synchronize the recent changes. And click Save. We will now enter credentials for this customer record into Login Name, Password and Confirm Password. Be sure to make a note of these credentials as we will need them in the next exercise. Click the Save button and we are returned to the All Customers view. And finally, click the Dashboard tab to return to our main page. And that's it for this video. We have added portal login fields to the Customer Records page and updated customer portal credentials. In the next video, we will be creating a portal and pages, linking the pages together and editing the welcome page. Thanks for watching.